Hello and welcome to this week's EMBN show from the mountain bike mecca of Finale Ligure. Ligure? Ligure, that's right. <laughs> and we're joined by Enrico Guala, who has seen 25 years of mountain bike develop in this location. And more, more importantly, in the last five years, e-biking. Now, Enrico is also a key part of the Enduro World Series. So on today's show, we're going to be asking, where is the ultimate place to ride your e-bike? So Enrico, you've seen it all. You've seen Finale go from a downhill location through Enduro. You've, uh, you know, you've been there at the initiation. You were in, in, that, in that restaurant when the EWS, the Enduro World Series, was conceived, drinking a glass of wine, right? Yeah. And uh, recently, recently, you've seen the development of e-bikes from like 2012. Yeah. I mean, it's... Uh... You know, especially in a place like uh, like Finale. I mean, the the first time I, I came here, I was not living here. I was driving from Genova. You know, the very famous one of the very famous loop in Finale is the Giro dei Chappi. Mm -hmm. uh, super technical. Yeah. Today, maybe maybe on an e-bike you can climb it all. Yeah. Let me go to the wider picture. Right. We're asking where's the ultimate place to ride an e-bike. Now you you've been all over the world. Ooh. You've been all over the world with the Enduro World Series. You must have seen some incredible locations. Where, you, in your eyes, is the best mountain bike location? Wow, that's a tough question. You know, well, maybe I would, there's a few. Every time I go around the world, you know, to discover something, yeah. it's a new experience. But of course, you know, I, I might sound, um, you know, a bit um, um, logical. You know, <laughs> um, Finale is my is my hometown. It's yeah. a place where, yeah. you know, I've learned so many things about. Yeah. What I do today. Yeah, look, this place is an amazing location. But what I'm going to say to you is, you, you, you've seen some great mountain bike locations. But what makes a great e mountain bike location? And is it is it any different <clears throat> to a mountain bike location? Because a lot of mountain bike locations have got maybe chairlifts and uplift. I've come here to Finale and ridden some incredible trails, which are just the right gradient. The gradients need to be right for an e bike. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Something we can't actually ride with a normal bike. Yeah. Because sometimes it's too steep. Yeah. But you want an e-bike. A lot of these trails are based around an uplift. There's between 50 to 60 uplift vehicles here in Finale. Uh, but, you know, I'm thinking, a lot of people say, oh, the e-bike will kill off the uplift. But I'm thinking, well, 10 euros will take you to the top of NATO base. And on an e-bike, you're just going to explore anybody you want, anywhere you want. So it's, I don't think it's going to kill off uplift. No, right? I, don't, I don't think it's going to kill. I actually think e-bikes expand yeah. the potential of the territory we can cover. Yeah. But, you know, one battery, I mean, if you go EMTB or Turbo, a thousand meter, yeah. you're almost done, yeah. right? 10 euros, you climb on 1,000 meter with a shuttle, mm -hmm. and then you start exploring. It's crazy. So I'm thinking finale, right? So the, the sphere of, of possibility on a mountain bike has maybe been that much in the last mm -hmm. 10 years. With an e-bike, that area is going to expand. I need to move back because it's even more. <laughs> But is that's right, right? <laughs> Absolutely. But there's riding, I think. So we're talking about what makes the ultimate location, right? There's yeah. things other than the trails, I think. There's, you know, there's the welcome that you get. You know, are the hotels and the restaurants, are they, are they welcome into mountain bikers or e-bikers, e-bikes in particular? Yeah, trails, trails are, uh, to me, are just uh, one part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, super important because that's what we, you know, we're, we're buying at the end of the day. But the whole... Um, you know, the whole uh, sides are, again, important. Um, restaurant, hotels, shops, and they feel it's natural, yeah. you know, to welcome mount mountain bikers. Yeah. I think that's, that's the key, you know, having a, such a strong community mm. that is committed and, and welcoming. Now, it's always good to get tech on the channel. We've just had this Paradox Hermes motor in all the way from Greece. Uh, this is retrofitable to most mountain bikes on the bottom bracket. It's uh, 1500 watts nominal. Now, a lot of these aftermarket motors, they range from about 250 watts up to say, two and a half thousand watts. This Paradox motor is 130 Newton meters. Uh, it weighs in just over two kilograms, so that's super light, um, but it doesn't come in cheap. Uh, 2,890 euros for this kit. However, it's got a 744 
watt hour battery, so that's a great range on that. And um, yeah, but let's not forget that it's throttle assist only, it's not a pedal assist bike. So we'll be going into all this detail uh, in a future video coming very soon. Um, moving on to light. Now it's always good to have uh, have light on the show, especially because uh, a lot of these, a lot of um, companies now make an e-bike specific light. So I've checked out, these are from Supernova. They've got a vast range. They've even got um, rear lights for your e-bikes. And as I said, it can make a really, can make for a really, really clean, uh, clean cockpit on your e-bike. So check out these uh, Supernova lights. Now we've had lots of feedback from last week's show where we featured 22 year old ripper, Joel Anderson, where he was, uh, actually put in that specialized Canevo to the limits. But I've had this uh, picture in from Carl. And Carl says, at 70, year old, 70 years old, am I too old to ride aggressively? Well, look in pretty good shape to me, Carl. I think as long as you keep uh, learning new skills and keep those wheels spinning, why Why not? Why the hell Why the hell not? Now you might recall Andre Regini, who's involved in our off-grid charging video, which we had recently. Now, Andre has just been down to South Africa and he's caught up with mountain bike legend, Willy Engelbrecht. Now, Willy has come out with a new uh, e-bike of his own, Adrenaline Bikes. So uh, we're very fortunate that Andre um, got some words with him and talked everything e-bikes. So, so you had a great pro cycling career. Now, Adrenaline Bikes, where does that come in? I said, I'm going to build one 18 kilograms. You're going to build an 18 kilo yep. e-bike? I chose a frame from, 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 from the east again. Yep. A similar geometry than what Scott is using. Yep. Um, and I put the bits and pieces together and yeah. yeah. The, the, tell, tell, me, tell me more about the bike. What, what, what have you done? How have you managed to get it down to 18 kilos? I didn't compromise anywhere. I mean, I, no. you know, the suspension is, is Fox 36, 160 mil. Yep. Um, so you've, you've gone for a standard 500 watt hour battery. Oh, this is the standard. I mean, Shimano E8000 steps, E8000 motor. Yeah, um, yeah. With, with a 504 watt um, battery. What I find amazing about this bike is that it's light enough that you can ride it unassisted. Yeah. So battery life has never really been a real problem. No. Um, I've managed to get 160 kilometers out of a battery. That's pretty um, good going. Um, moving on to the Bosch video, uh, which we did how to um, how to refresh your Bosch Performance CX motor. Now, a lot of people commented on that video, and it's really good you guys have got involved. Um, a lot of people uh, were concerned that it was it was not a complete sort of rebuild and upgrade. I mean, what we showed was basically a drive side bearing refresh, um, but it's not a DIY fix, and this is. This is the official word from Bosch, is that uh, the repair can only be carried out by a qualified specialized personnel, and hence the repair kit must not be supplied to end users. Um, but yeah, and I must say, you know, great thanks to Steve Kitchen at the Bicycle Kitchen for helping us do that video. And uh, he, he actually sent us this great video where he uh, actually can collect bikes from people in his local district. And uh, yeah, check this out, I think it's pretty cool. Okay, it's time for the comments, and we've had some real belters in this week. Uh, this from Nick. Uh, Nick says, anyone else feel an edge whilst watching this video? Stress me out for some reason. I think Steve's touching stuff all through it while the mechanic's trying to tell him not to. Also, he wasn't really listening, needed we wee, or was late for something. Do you know what? Um, sometimes it's difficult. You know, I'd never done a video with Steve before. Uh, didn't know how much to input into it or keep it out, keep it out of the picture. But you know what? It actually made me feel edgy as well. So, um, uh, Johnny Harris Fest Fast Lane Diaries. <laughs> right, okay. I've just done this very service on my high bike Enduro Performance Line CX. The bearings were worn and noisy. It's transformed the bike immensely. A very worthwhile service point, and this is the best guide Oh, thanks Johnny Harris. Uh, for how to do these on these engines, I would also recommend the dust cover part as an addition to reduce water and muck ingress and the other side. Well, there you go. Some po uh, positives and negatives from the Bosch video. Let's, we'll um, make sure we'll do better next time. This week's Where in the World is from Christine in Pemberton on a trail called uh, Kanukistan. 
Uh, this is from Christine saying, uh, we were ecstatic to be able to climb up one of our favorite local trails through foothills of fresh powder on Christmas day. The dam was electrifying. Yeah, I mean, that looks beautiful, doesn't it? Nice one, Christine from British Columbia. Uh, keep sending more pictures in when the season changes. I'd be, uh, yeah, that's quite a, quite a hotbed of mountain bike in that part of the world. So coming up on the channel this week, you might remember that a couple of months ago, we took a particularly horrendous e-mountain bike, 350 pounds cash up Snowden. And it really was a struggle, but a lot of you asked how good is it going down? Well, coming up on the channel on Sunday, is it a chance to see just that? How good is a budget e-bike against a particularly good e-bike? And um, I can tell you something, it wasn't very pleasant. Okay, it's bike vault time, and uh, unfortunately I've got no one to share my thoughts with on the bike vault this week. Apart from that is Brandon behind the camera. So Brandon, if you can help me on this one this week. Good stuff. Uh, okay, starting off with Stephen from the Forest of Dean. I mean, how can I not give a super nice to someone riding on my local trails? There you go, Stephen, flat out. Uh, next up, this is John, who's in Hampsley Forest. Now, John has got a Trek Powerfly on demo, and he basically needed to make sure it was the right one, which it is, and now he's gonna go and find the cash to buy it. Brandon, what are your, th what are your thoughts on that? That's nice. Nice, isn't That's it? Nice, I mean, that, but it's, it's, and it's, I think it's super nice that he's been checking his bike out before he goes and buys. Oh my God, oh my God. Jerry, uh, Marita E160, um, the big crater Zin River. Where's that then? It says, uh, in Gillard's birthday ride with New Zealand riders. Oh, come on. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Huh? That is super nice. That is, isn't it? That's gotta be super nice there. What, what a location, that is mental. Um, now Martin wouldn't really like this. This is uh, Giant Stance Cudgate from Lee. Uh, hi, my name's Lee Ellis. After not riding proper trails for years, I do four knee, knee operations. I finally managed to get back out to, to find my natural trail. Yes, right in Stance, 35 miles, is only climbing. 40% of battery left. Martin, when, Martin doesn't like people in the shots. It's nice, right? Nice. Nice one, Lee. Um, <laughs> Tacky, Focus, Bold, Squared, Lady Bower Reservoir, Peak District. It's a nice, can't really see the bike, right? That's nice. It's nice, yeah. Um, but, but, ooh, crikey, a Thock Mig in Basco, Bosco San Pietro in Sicily. Uh, I went to Sicily for a holiday last week uh, where I rented a Thock Mig. I was lucky enough to witness something unusual, if you exclude that. Now the snow at 300 meters of sea level, fantastic. That's in from Massimo. There's only one way that is going, Brandon. Look at that. Super nice. Agreed? Super nice. Super nice. Um, Alan, uh, higher technique hardtail. I don't think I've heard of that. He's in Ibiza. That's nice. Nice, nice blue sky. Nice blue sky, nice blue sky. I'd like to be on Ibiza now. Ooh, and there's a brace. A brace of uh, giant bikes, an E-stance and an E-trance. Uh, Rum Village Mil uh, Mountain Bike Trail, South Bend, Indiana, USA. Uh, and the description here is that my longtime friend and I follow uh, e-bike cop Bill Bunton. My longtime friend and follow fellow bike cop E. Bill Bunton and I went out on my 51st birthday thrashing our e-bikes at Rum Village Mountain Bike Trail, South Bend. Wow. That's nice. That is nice. It's quite, nice uh, it's quite autumnal there in yeah. Bend, isn't it, at the minute? Um, oh, here you go, Simon, Mondraker E. Vantage Hardtail, Pembrokeshire, South Wales, UK. I mean, I'm biased from West Wales. He's got EMBN yeah, top got on. Top. Come on, nice. it's gotta be a super nice from West Wales. And finally, uh, Derek, Giant Trans E, probably a lot of giants this week. Uh, Wicklow Mountains overlooking Dublin City. Um, that, for me, is an easy one as well. That is super nice. Super Look at nice. That. There you go. Nice one, uh, Derek. Super nice. And that's it. We're out of the bike vault. So that's it for the EMBN show this week. Don't forget uh, the other videos on the channel. Uh, Chris has had a particularly busy few months. Uh, he recently did um, a trials challenge with Hans Ray on the streets of Bath. Don't forget to have a look at that. 
And me and Chris did a video called Electric Mountain, which is more of an epic in the hills of North Wales. Chris should be back with us next week. He's currently on paternity leave when everyone here at HQ wishes the Smiths all the best. So that's it, see you next week. Don't forget you can like, share and subscribe to EMVN. Thank you.